Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and uh, welcome to your first Angular 2 tutorial. And um, you can always find more videos on youtube.com slash c slash brenton.org. And uh, if you have any questions, don't, don't forget to post them on davepartner.com. And I'm on Medium, Twitter, and Instagram with this username. Alright, and um, AngularJS is a JavaScript framework for building dynamic web applications and uh, trust me this uh, is, should be the best JavaScript framework out there arguably it is owned by Google and managed by Google too AngularJS and in Angular 2 everything is a component that is basically saying that every part of your page like this menu is a component and um, this particular part is another component and this top menu is a component and all these things are components so um, Angular 2 takes a component-based approach to uh, web application design, and, and Angular 2 is takes mobile first, is a, a mobile-first approach. So it was built with mobile-first in mind. Angular 2 makes use of TypeScript, which is uh, Microsoft's extension of JavaScript. Microsoft basically took JavaScript and put it on steroids. So uh, Google decided to build Angular 2 with TypeScript. All right. Which means um, TypeScript runs on ES6, ECMAScript script 6, uh, which means most browsers are not yet um, compatible with ES6. They don't understand it yet, which means after writing your TypeScript code, you you still have to use a transpiler to transpile it into normal JavaScript, which is ES5. That your browser can read so you see a lot of that happening so we just um, get it installed so once we write our code in TypeScript then by the time our server will simply transpile it and by the time we get to a browser it's already running and uh, Angular 2 is quite easy way way easier than Angular 1 and way way different so uh, the, don't try to carry your knowledge of Angular, Angular 1 into Angular 2 and if you don't know Angular 1, this is a very good place to start. You start from Angular 2, no need to know Angular 1, okay? Then, here are the things you need to know before you can uh, learn Angular 2. First of all, you need uh, basic knowledge of HTML. You need to know HTML. You need to know CSS. Then you need to know a little JavaScript. You don't have to be a pro. Just know a uh, little basics in JavaScript. And then you may optional. If you know TypeScript, it's an advantage. If you don't know, don't worry. We're going to treat TypeScript in this tutorial. So you basically need to know your HTML, CSS, and a little knowledge of JavaScript. All right. And um, what are the text editors we'll be using? We'll be using uh, the text editors Atom.io. I is my newfound love. And uh, Code Lobster, these two te text editors. So you go to atom.io and um, download Atom. It's free. Then you download Code Lobster. It's free. If you're using Sublime Text, that's okay too. And then uh, inside Atom, I'm going to install this package called Language TypeScript Grammars Only, just for um, kind of um, intelligence for TypeScript. All right. And um, here are the necessary links you will need. Um, if you ever need to contact me, if you ever need to have, if you ever have any questions, uh, if you want, there is a repository for this tutorial. The, the software, the app we're going to be creating in this tutorial, we'll put it on GitHub and uh, it will be on github.com slash devozala and it's called Angular 2 Firebase blog tutorial. So if you visit this URL, you will uh, get the repo. Otherwise, uh, I'm on github with this uh this is my url on github and when you get there you can look for this among my projects all right and then my website is davepartner.com and braintime.org so if you have any questions go to davepartner.com and post them if you have articles you can always post here and then i'm on youtube with many more programming tutorials you can always check them out here and i'm on facebook if you ever need to reach me if you ever need to contact me for any reason, visit facebook.com slash devozala and then on Twitter and Instagram with these handles. All right, um, let's proceed. What are the things we need to um, install to actually start coding in Angular 2? I'll show you a shortcut and um, a very powerful tool that will make your Angular 2 life very, very easy. And it's called um, Angular command line. But before we install the Angular command line interface, we need to install something called NPM, the Node Package Manager. 
All right, the node package manager is the is what you need to install uh, so many packages, and the package we'll be installing is um, command line interface. All right, then um, here is the your here is the command you need to know if your npm install is installed. Then you have to install Angular command line. You have this you enter this command in your console. I will show you um, briefly. This Angular command line helps you create projects, generate core files, start local server, create new components and services. Instead of you manually creating them, like um, most other documentations will show you, this will do that automatically for you. And then we'll be needing TypeScript typings and uh, Firebase, which we'll be installing somewhere further down the tutorial. All right, and um, thank you very much. Let's see if we can start right away. So we start with installing our Atom and uh, Node.js. First of all, you go to nodejs.org and um, this is the Node.js page and you come here and install um, this. This is table, uh, but then this is the latest um, release. So I prefer this. You click on it and it download it and install in your system. Then secondly, you have to go to Atom io that is if you intend using atom like me but if you're using sublime text that's already okay don't no need to install atom then you click on download i'm using a windows system so I'll just click on download here and then you go to code lobster all these uh, apps are free so you install for code lobster after downloading you will have to go to your email register and go to your email to get a key to unlock it but the key is free too so you just click on download uh, and um, I'm using Code Lobster. It's called Code Lobster PHP Edition. And if you want to buy some plugins, there are some plugins for sale here. But I'm using it without all these plugins, okay? Otherwise, you can just get your AngularJS plugin and add to it. All right. Um, now you've installed this. I've already installed it to actually start using it. What you will do is um, you come to your your system like this, your start menu, and type Node. So you click on this guy here. If node is installed, you of course you will see it. So the first thing we need to install, we need to do is to check if node is installed. We say npm we we'll just say node v. Alright, this will show you the version of node you have installed. The one I have is 4.4.3. If this is the first time you're installing node, of course you will see 6.9. If you don't see this, if you see an error, that means node is not even installed in your system. Then the next thing you want to do is to install uh, AngularJS. You say npm install g for global. It should be global. Then you say Angular CLI. So you hit enter. I've already installed it, uh, so I won't be hitting enter. But when you write, type this out, you hit enter, and of course. Uh, depending on the speed of your internet connectivity it may take between one minute to ten minutes so just go and relax while it pulls the entire files it needs and installs on your system so once this is done you're basically good to go all you have to do is navigate to the project folder where you need to create your um, application and uh, use the angular cli to create your new application so what i'll do is i'll use this cd command i like to create my files in a specific place otherwise you should uh, find a way to navigate to any place you want um, I will use this command and say C well I already know this part in my system I'll show you one sys4 sys4 slash www here is where I want to create my my files and uh, just to show that to you what I'll do is um, I will just open the folder for you so I'll open the folder for you I am on C as you can see I'm going to this C root level and um, I'm going to a folder called WAMP sys4 as you can see and I'm going to www this is just my own choice of creating I want to create a new project inside this, this is just my own choice all right um, otherwise you can just go to your own desktop and when you get to your desktop you click here open your folder click on desktop and click here and then you'll get the um or create a folder there let's just say and call it angular 
test and go at test all right so we we'll just open this folder click here and copy this um, address so if you copy this address you can just come here and type cd delete what i've already written type cd then you right click on your mouse and you have cd this uh, particular folder address then you hit enter so it will navigate you and put you inside that folder so but i personally prefer to do mine here if you don't have one installed you won't have this folder that i'm trying to use well, I'm says for www i'll hit enter and then we'll create a new folder a new to create a new project we'll just say ng new and what do we name our new project we can just call it angular 2 blog so the new project folder will be named angular 2 blog inside www so when i hit enter it will go to the internet and um, install a new angular 2 project um, basic files for us all right so we have to wait as you can see it's trying to go online to pull stuff for me so we have to wait in your system depending on your speed of internet connectivity this could take between one to ten minutes so you just go relax as for me i'll stop this video and i will continue in the next video after this has been installed thank you very much my name is dave partner and welcome uh and thank you for this tutorial don't forget to go to my url to uh on github and download or just gain access to the project files to this uh, repository see you in the next tutorial